Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at what I think is the best way to heat your hot tub. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now we know that there's many different options for heating a, a hot tub. There's propane, there's natural gas, there's electric. My personal preference, and the one that I think is the best, is an air source heat pump. And in this video, we're gonna look at why I think the air source heat pump is by far the, uh, the best option. Now, it's not as quick to heat your hot tub as say propane or natural gas, but in terms of the unit itself, it's so much easier to install. Uh, you don't need any specific pipes or, or a tank to store the gas itself. So it's nice and easy for the, in terms of the installation, you can pretty much put them anywhere. In terms of the running cost, it's much cheaper than running on uh, electric alone. Exactly how much cheaper really depends on the, the pump that you, uh, that you opt for, but it can be anything up to uh, two thirds cheaper to, to actually run your hot tub. So it's a huge saving and you can recoup the cost uh, of the initial outlay uh, over a couple of years. So how does an air source heat pump work? Well, an air source heat pump works by pumping refrigerant through the copper heat exchanger coils. A compressor and a condenser are then used to change the refrigerant from a liquid into a gas state. And the liquid refrigerant actually boils as it passes through the heat exchanger coil. Heat from the air that has previously been stored in the refrigerant, it then escapes as a gas. The gas is then compressed using a pump which increases the temperature of the gas. And this is done through compression. The gas then passes through a pressure valve into the coil and the refrigerant gas is then compressed back into a liquid. As it does this, the liquid then transfers the heat to the heating element, which in turn heats the water in your tub. So pretty straightforward process. Okay, so what are the advantages then of an air source heat pump? Well, firstly, they have a low carbon footprint. They will definitely save you money on your heating bills. They can be used for both heating and cooling the hot tub. So you can actually use it as a, a chilled plunge pool uh, in the summer if you live in a very warm area, for example. As we've already mentioned, the installation process is really easy and there's no fuel to store either, which is a, a big benefit. You don't need one of those huge tanks uh, that you would for propane, for example. And they've also got a long lifespan, so they're gonna last um, and it's well worth the uh, initial investment. So what are the disadvantages of an air source heat pump? Well, firstly, the initial cost is quite high. Um, you're going to want to spend um, you know, a good couple of thousand dollars at least on the, uh, on the air source heat pump. You don't really want to go for the cheaper end and we'll, we'll look at why um, not all of the air source heat pumps are exactly the same very shortly. So air source heat pumps can be quite noisy uh, when they're being used and they, their efficiency also varies depending on the uh, external temperature because obviously at lower temperatures, it's harder to actually generate the heat and, and harness the, uh, the heat out of the air. So it does vary season to season on how efficient it is actually going to be. Okay, so are all air source heat pumps the same? Loving a car analogy, just because we have two V8 side by side does not mean that they are identical. And that's exactly the same with air source heat pumps. As we've mentioned, the temperature or the, the external temperature does affect the running of the pump. So you need to check on the specifications um, how they operate and, and how the temperature actually affects them. More expensive and more efficient heat pumps actually work better at lower temperatures. So check those specifications. Cheaper air source heat pumps tend to consume uh, a lot more power, which obviously means they're not as efficient and they're not saving you as much money either. So again, you know, check the specifications on the model that you're looking to buy. Now all air source heat pumps have an inverter on the motor. So what is this inverter and, and why is it important? What an inverter does is rather than having a set speed, so let's take, make it really simple, either a low, a medium or a high speed on the, uh, on the motor. 
With having inverter technology there, it means that the motor can actually calculate what the most efficient you know, percentage is uh, to be running. So instead of that low or medium speed, it can actually run at say 22% of its maximum power because it's calculated that at that 22%, it's most efficient. So the inverter technology actually saves you money as well. Cheaper air source heat pumps tend not to have a soft start on the motor. Why is this important? Well, when that pump and the motor kicks in, it's gonna send a spike on your electricity supply and it could actually trip your breaker. So you'll see that the more expensive units do actually have both that inverter technology and they also have a soft start on there as well. Better air source heat pumps also come with heated lines, which may be referred to as a, a heated train. And what that does is it basically stops the unit from freezing in those lower temperatures. So again, it's just a bit more technology in there to you know, help the unit out. So we've covered lots of different points about the air source heat pumps in this video. If you do need any assistance with your hot tub diagrams, your plumbing, the supply, please do get in touch. Hope you've enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next video.